Hello everybody and welcome to Channington Farm. This is by Oxygen David and today we're going to be starting the Let's Play. Something which I've been wanting to do for some time because his maps really are amazing. So I think probably quite a few people are already aware of the issue regarding Oxygen David and Giants. I'm not going to go into it because it's not my position to do so, but what I will say is Oxygen David has been absolutely amazing and he has shared a link, well he's given me a link to share down below in the description so that you can download this map if you'd like to, that is for PC users uh, sadly not for console but yes the link is there if you would like to download and play this map. I've also put Oxygen David's Facebook page down below as well uh, if you'd like to go and support him but I just think that he deserves so much support because how do you make a map like this? <laughs> how do you do it? It is Remarkable. Absolutely amazing. So, yeah, we better get on with the uh, Let's Play. But no, thank you. Thank you, Oxygen David. It really is. It really is great. Anyway, just to start things off here, we have got the Fent 820. This has replaced the two tractors that you start off with. You initially start with a New Holland T6 and a Massey Ferguson 7719. I know that many people have requested that I get a, a fence, so no better time than at the beginning of this series. It's going to fit in very well. So that is the only tractor that we have currently, but we do have £200,000, so hopefully we can buy another one fairly soon. We do need to get some kind of front loader tractor or a telehandler. I'm thinking the Merlot, but at the moment we do need to be uh, quite careful with the money, especially as we are looking to buy an old Iveco lorry because I did also sell the trailer so that we could so that we could do this because the, the lorry is going to be useful for bales as well anyway we start off with fill number 36 1 2 and 3 fill number 3 has a barley crop in which is ready to harvest and I think the other two are empty fill number 2 is ploughed and yeah that must just be um, I think it's just cultivated possibly, or maybe just harvested. Anyway, yes, we have to do work over there. And field number 36 is the grass field, just behind the cow farm. So we have so much to get on with, but I think, well, there's one thing in particular that I just love. <laughs> it's absolutely great. This, um, this store, you can see that it's not the default store, obviously. This is the store that you can go to in the map, but not only that, but if you were to park a tractor, for example, just here, behind the lorry, you would see it. So we're gonna buy it, and then we're gonna go back into the store, and we should see our lorry lurking in the background. Anyway, I just need to uh, decide what the best kind of configuration is here. Um, yeah, the spoiler, this is, it's an old lorry, so it's quite an interesting design. But it does mean that it's not too expensive. Oh yes, I like the decals. Probably, probably uh, that decal. Not too sure about the spoiler actually. Maybe if we go without, with that decal. There we go. Okay, so seventy-eight thousand three hundred pounds. That is fine. If we now get the trailer, well, in fact, we should see our lorry in the store immediately. So into the trailer category, just here. I have put quite a few mods onto this Let's Play. Uh, oh, that's that's interesting. I haven't used this before, I don't think. There it is. Our lorry. Yes. <laughs> that is fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, it's not a huge lorry. So we need to be careful with what we actually do put onto the back of it. But I think... I think it would be okay. This might be looking a bit larger than when you actually buy it anyway. Should we go orange? Now we go with this colour. Okay, so that's £34,350, which is actually cheaper than the one I sold, amazingly. Okay, so we have course play. We're going to be using course play. We're also going to be using the Precision Farming DLC. So we do have to analyse our fields. Oh yeah, that's a good fit. Look at that. It is a tipper. But it should be fine with grain and things like that. Hopefully in the future we can buy a grain trailer as well. 
what we will do because we're going to need a higher capacity anyway uh, but this one will be good for root crops and all those sort of things and this map does include all of the different multi fruit crops let me just very quickly show you this it is great just take a look at this list here it's amazing there's also a few here got rye and then all of these so with a bit of luck we're going to be making use of them really do look forward to it um, and yeah well I think we're going to have to just start off with the fields that we have as we have a field of barley which is ready to harvest I think we should just get it harvested bring in a bit of early income and then we can uh, we can go from there really so nothing else has been changed no other vehicles have been modified in any way I think we started off with a massive focus on combine harvester so we'll use that for this field but after that we can decide whether or not we're going to keep it or replace it with something else I have also decided that this let's play is going to be an interactive let's play I did this many years ago it might have been FS17 uh, but certainly FS15 and that is where at the end of every video I do a vote and we decide what we're going to do next or what we're going to buy next it doesn't necessarily have to be what job we're doing next but that is how I took that's how I did it with um, with previous versions okay so we'll go up here there is an entrance to the field there but there might be another entrance somewhere not too sure uh, but yes we, we really need to get these fields analyzed so that we know what to do really with the fertilizer right so let's just put that lorry there it's a good looking thing I know it's left hand drive but it, I don't think it matters too much so yeah the fence will be used we do have that pickup truck which I showed you just then um, I think we're going to replace that with maybe a quad bike or anything which will support the precision farming equipment and as I said we will be using uh, course play as well in fact it might be a good idea to use course play immediately having said that we do have the lorry now so it's not going to be, yeah, it, we're not going to be full immediately. Let me just put this away. Just do it very quickly. But yeah, decent tractor. It's going to be good for cultivation, good for drilling. But what do you think? Do you think Merlot for a telehandler? This Let's Play is going to be big. I'm going to be doing a serious amount of episodes. Yeah, it's interesting actually. The farm track that I've just parked the lorry on, I don't remember it. I've played FS15 and 17 so much on this map, and yet it seems new. Maybe it is. It seems to go down the side of field number 2, uh, and then possibly back to that lane near to field number 1. Under the bridge. Or over the bridge, can't remember. Yeah, it's been a while. Anyway, we will definitely be using it quite a bit, so we will find out. You might have already done loads of hours on here. But I want this series to be exceptionally good, um, which is why we are going to be running votes as well. And hopefully we can make use of all the different crop types. Okay, so, yeah, we could do with just swinging around, I think. No crop in here. Yeah, because we're not going to be able to get through the gate with the header on, so let's just determine where the best place to park is. I would say we're just going to have to pull in. Yeah, if we just turn into the right. Unfortunately, we are going to have to destroy a small amount of crop, but what can you do? We've got to get the header trailer into here. Yeah, so I believe we have cuttable hedges. That's going to be interesting. Yeah, I do have crop destruction because I'm trying to go for a fairly realistic approach here. If we just limit where we drive, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. 
Lovely. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, don't want to be. I don't want to be turning around in here. Let's just start, and then uh, once we've been around once, we can change direction and go around the other way. Lift that wheel up. Yeah. So as we are running the precision farming DLC, you'll see on the mini map, we are getting the yield map being drawn, uh, which is interesting. Looking pretty bad, but we haven't done any work yet. We haven't applied the fertilizer or lime or anything. So we need to make it fairly productive. I think uh, the only the only option I might turn off is the weed option. I don't know. Um, we might keep it on. We'll keep lime on. Not sure. Uh, the, the, it's any the thing about the weeds is they seem to just randomly appear, and that's just maybe that's just the way I do it. Like when I pass time, maybe that messes it up. But I've had it quite a few times before where I have no weeds at all, and suddenly I get a field of fully grown weeds, and the only way of removing them is to spray them off instead of using a weeder. Right, so we're twenty percent full. As I said, not the best yield ever but we haven't paid anything for this, this is just given to us for free so I don't think we can really complain at that, that is fine um, not a huge field, should be able to get it done in just a short period of time and yes, Heston Balers, that's what we're going to be using but not immediately With a bit of luck, that will give the worker enough space to be able to manoeuvre. Because uh, we are going to have to do the carting, and at the same time it would be great to do the field analysis. So, yeah, field number one is the one that confused me. I think I think it's pretty much just ready to be drilled. So we should be able to get the drill going immediately with the, with the fence. Uh, but yes, it would be really good to actually know what we're dealing with, what soil types. So we do need to do that first. Uh, so, yeah, what do we do? Do we... I think probably uh, selling the pickup is a really good thing to do to begin with. I mean, it's nice to have a pickup truck, but I'm not really going to use it very often. I think we'd be better off with something which can support the uh, the equipment for precision farming. Okay, so if we can set off on a worker, it might just miss a bit to begin with, but that is fine. It will soon sort itself out and we can get it unloaded yeah so that was a pretty much a full load and it's filled this to 15 percent so we've certainly not got to be rushing about going from the store every five minutes we can just do every uh, well maybe the whole field actually I just think the whole field will fit into here oh don't destroy the crop Always forgetting about that. Yeah, so I'm really happy with this lorry. I think it's going to be uh, very useful, uh, especially for carting bales as well. I look forward to doing the Hessens. In fact, the Hessens are the only bales which I properly enjoy doing. I really do enjoy doing them. They just seem very easy to uh, handle. It's unlikely that we're going to be using any kind of auto stacking equipment. I think pretty much all the bales will be moved with a telehandler. 
Okay, so that is all ready to continue. 33% full. So we'll park that there. I mean, we could we could actually fit the uh, precision farming equipment to this. It doesn't look too big to be doing it. I think we could give it a go. So if we just go into here, it's not cheap. It is seventeen thousand pounds, but when we're doing this sort of thing, we we have to buy it. Really, we could lease it, but I think because we're going to be analysing quite a few fields, it would make sense just to buy it. We will go past the entrance to that track. At least I think it's the entrance to the farm track. Just so that I can see if that is where we can uh, take a shortcut to the field. Although having said that, it probably is faster going the other way anyway, if we were going to the store. But I'm just intrigued to see where it comes out. I think it might just lead to fill number one. Yeah. I don't think it comes... Yeah, or maybe, yeah, if you follow that around. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So yeah, if we wanted to cut across, we can do. And then we have this very pretty bridge here with the water. Very nice. Train bridge over there. We have the castle. I did so much mowing around the castle in 17. Or maybe 15. I get 17 and 15 so easily mixed up now. And if I'm not mistaken, we can actually take this little track, which goes past the castle, uh, to the store. I think it is a good shortcut. Yep, looks like it still does do. So, yeah. Let's go up here. There is the castle. Looking very dramatic. How's that for a screenshot? <laughs> that looks great. Nice. That is very nice. Uh, we'll have to try and own the land over there. Ruined farm building. And then, yeah, this is the country lane, uh, which I'm hoping will come out exactly opposite, or thereabouts, uh, the store. <laughs> it doesn't have to be exactly opposite. Looks like it might be, though. Yep, it is. Directly across the road. I do have traffic enabled. I think I have seen some traffic. It's not too busy around here. And there it is. We'll get that put onto the front of the tractor. I'm thinking quad bike though. I think if we replace the picket with a quad bike, maybe in the next episode, then we can analyse the other fields as well. Okay, so we are taking the soil samples. I just need to head over to the lorry and unload the combine, but you can see on the map here, soil sample taken. Once the uh, the samples have been taken to the lab, we'll find out exactly which soil types we have. Uh, but I would imagine, we've got a river down here, I bet these fields here are like loamy sand. Or, oh, actually there could be salty clay, it's hard to guess, but anyway, um, into, into the Iveco. Any second that combine's going to stop. Because the message saying 80% was a while ago. I doubt I'll get there in time. Come on. <laughs> Please. Nice. That must have been very close. Yep, so it's going really well. The good thing about the worker is he makes really straight swaths. Uh, which then makes the bailing very easy. I 
I think it's very hard to decide if we should start the drilling today or start the baling today. As I said, we are going to be using coarse play. So if we can afford another tractor fairly soon, then we can have a worker going all the time doing things like drilling. Right, so that is 52%. Park it here. Yeah, I think it probably would be better to uh, to do the, the soil samples just here in this field, then move on and do the baling. And then next time uh, we can move the bales whilst the worker is doing some drilling. We'll do some drilling as well. But that is the sort of job which is nice to, to give to a worker. Even more so if it's with a very small drill. But yeah, the tractor is working fine. It's just you probably wouldn't want to be driving this over a nicely prepared seedbed. But then you probably wouldn't be doing this at that stage. So I'll just finish the field, we'll then submit the samples, and then I think, yeah, time to buy a Heston baler, providing we can afford it. And the final one, just here, there it goes. Brilliant. Okay, so we have we've pretty much sampled the entire field. There's the odd bit missed, but we don't need to find out that much information. Uh, so yeah, we need to um, press Y to send the soil samples for analysis, and we should see the results soon. Very good. Okay, lift up, take it back to the farm. As the next time, probably we'll be using a quad bike on that, but we're just making do with what we've got. Uh, but now we can put this tractor to even better use by putting a baler on the back. I'll probably have to unload the combine again first. But things are going well. Except that is quite rough. <laughs> that is really rough. I need to be careful. Uh, even more careful if, if I'm bringing bales across there. Because as I found out in... Um, my competitive multiplayer episode a few weeks ago, even if the bells are strapped, they can still go a bit crazy. So as for the cow farm, we will get some cows. But I think we should sort out the arable side of things first, and also food. We need to make sure we've got the food. Now I believe this is running the uh, Maze Plus, which I've never actually used before, but I'm looking forward to it. Uh, pretty sure that is all set up on this map. Does anybody have anything um, that they feel I should know <laughs> about using Maze Plus? Something that I could potentially fail at? It would be great to hear if, if there is something, like the order that you make hay or silage. Anyway, um, yes, let's just very, very quickly get back in our lorry. This is looking great. On the way up the hill, will unload. And actually, I think out of all the mods that I enabled, I've enabled loads, um, yeah, the, the Heston Baylor wasn't one of them. Somehow I managed to overlook it. I've got things like the Heston Bale quad stack, or what's it called? Let's just take a look. Better than guessing. The Rollin trailers, all these Baylors here. Loads of stuff. I've got the high density Baylor, but that isn't... Yeah, that's not the... Um, the Heston, yeah, the four stack for big bales, this one here, which I think would be a good thing to use. It's not an auto stacker as such, it just puts it into three yeah, three bales, so um, that could be very useful. But we would have to have a telehandler to pick up three Heston bales. Right, okay, so let's get it unloaded. I should also look into getting a mod which shows us how full other machines are. I used to use the Glance mod for FS17. I think there is something similar for 19, but I've never used it. And we 
we'll also have to buy the bale trailer, but that's not too expensive. We'd only have to sell a few bales to be able to cover the price of it, I should think. I'm wondering how you harvest carrots and onions. Maybe just with that modified potato harvester. Okay, that is definitely empty. So, I will see you in a second. The big balers, or the Heston balers, are now enabled. I've just noticed we do have a round baler. So we'll get that sold. I don't think we're going to need it. Although, if we do need one, I would likely buy the class one. Because although this is a very nice baler, it's just a bit overused. So it would be nice to add a bit of variety. And it gives us time... Well, it allows us to uh, have a bit more money now. Hopefully when we buy a, another round baler, we will have more money and it won't even really matter that we're having to buy a round baler. Because that isn't even that expensive. Oh, there's a steam drain. Blocked by the mirror. There it is. Yeah, so I, I really don't know how much the Heston balers are. But this should allow us to uh, to have enough if we don't. I think what we've got will cover it. But as I said, we want the four stack as well to really tie things up. And then hopefully, at the beginning of the next episode, we'll also be able to buy the Merlot. We've got the grain from this episode to sell. So yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing too badly financially. We should be okay. Don't know how expensive quad bikes are, but I don't think they're too much in farming simulator terms. It must just be a few thousand pounds. So that's going to be fairly easy to buy. Here is the tractor that does tractor rides. This is the circus. Well, that is anyway. It's good to see the lizard from FSA9 working again. And FS11. It was in both. Uh, okay, right. I'm causing a very small traffic jam. Sorry car, I'll just back into there. There we go. Right, we, we must get on with it now, we need to, <laughs> need to get this bailing done. It's very tempting to start sightseeing, but I have already done that. So I think that is the sell point just there. Just move the tractor. Wow, that's worth quite a bit. 43, pretty much 44,000. So into the, uh, the bailing category. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it is quite expensive. 90,000 pounds. I usually go for the Matty Ferguson. Oh, well, it would be a fence on a fence. That would make sense. Okay, let's add a bit of variety. Let's not go for the Matty Ferguson today. Pains me to say it, but no, I, I do like Fent. Fent is good. After all, Fent is Agco, which <laughs> Matty Ferguson is as well. Right, this is going to be good. You can see our field from here. We just had the message saying 80% full. Must unload it. But yeah, I think it is all going to fit into one trailer. It hasn't yielded very well, but as I've already said, it's not supposed to. So I will try and put all the links down below for the mods that I'm using. I do try to. I might miss one off, but I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll do my best to keep it up to date. If it's exactly 100%, that would be astonishing. It might be, although looking at it, it might not all fit, I don't know. 
doesn't really matter either way. I can see that we do also have some uh, some different crops in storage in the silo. So if we do get desperate for money, we do have something to sell. Wow, so a lot of different things. Okay, so let's unfold this. I think the default capacity of a Heston bale is 6,000 litres. I tend to push that up to 10,000 litres. It just depends how many bales we're producing. With a low yielding crop like this, it might not be an issue. But yeah, if it feels like we're making too many, then I would just increase it in a second. But there it is, the first bale. Ah, it's good to have the Heston bales back. working very nicely. I have kept it at 6,000, that is fine. It's not producing them too quickly. Uh, and yeah, I think we're gonna be uh, making quite a bit of money here. But I can see it now, I am gonna to start to get quite desperate to get a, another tractor, probably a bigger one. Uh, if, if it, it all comes down to if we have the telehandler, because if we have the telehandler, then we don't need to have a smaller tractor with a front loader. Anyway, yeah, the work has stopped because the combine's full, so I will just unload it and then we'll finish off. I won't get the worker to do it. Um, and yeah, that we can complete the bailing. But it looks like we might be having a trip to the sell point. And the best price is MS2. It's down here, isn't it? That's very close. Okay, well, it is 100%. That's 48,000 litres. Oh, it's right there, look. <laughs> That's great, that couldn't have been any closer. Yeah, let's go and make some money. I'm very fond of this track though. The farm track there. It looks really nice. It's certainly more immersive being in first person view. The only issue with it is, sometimes it can be hard to really show off the map in first person view. I guess I could do an episode, just one episode, where I stay in first person the entire time. Although that would be tricky, because with the bailing and things like that, it, you don't really see much. Like if I was time lapse in first person view, you're going to see nothing except for just driving forwards. No, I'll stick with the way I'm currently doing it. It's definitely the best way. A bit of both. There it is. So we just have to reverse into there. I'm interested to see the mirrors. Yeah, not bad. Yeah, you can actually see what you're doing. Because I know there's some mods, and possibly the base game mods, not too sure, where you can't really see where you're reversing. That's fine. They've been well calibrated. Uh, so yeah, look at the money going up. Let's go to first. Uh, sorry, third person view. Lots of money. Big ram. Very big hydraulic ram. 
And there we go, almost £50,000. And we're not finished yet, but we almost are. So, yes, let's just go and finish things off. We've got the baling to finish off, and a very, very small amount of harvesting. Things are going well. bailing finished off. In a second I'll take a look and see how many bells we've made. Uh, hopefully quite a few. I can see it's quite a few. I'm gonna have to have a guess. I'm thinking 38 and I haven't looked. I haven't seen any of the progress. 38. Whoa close 33. Not quite as good as, it, as, as I was uh, guessing there, but still not bad. Okay, so let's get this taken back to the farm. We'll then unload the combine and sell the final bit of barley. And then I think we're going to wrap it up for today. We've done quite a bit. Yeah, quite happy with the progress. I'll go this way. It's not really a shortcut for the place that we're going to, but yeah, I, I just like it. I do like going on these little farm tracks. Beats the busy roads. Not that this road here is busy, but in real life. Yep, so this is the field which the worker will be focusing on in the next episode. It is a big field. I can remember spending hours drilling this in 17. I think I must have had a very small drill. And back to the yard. Yeah, it's just really realistic. I think it's the best word for it. Immersive and realistic. We will park it down here. This one can be the bell shed. We will probably be keeping some of the Heston belts. I don't think we should sell them all. Because we don't have any of the fields which are planted. So it will be a while until we get some more straw. Uh, but there we go. The fence and the fence are in their shed. So yeah, just, uh, just to finish off. We've got just over a thousand litres in the trailer. Probably not much, not much more in the combine. I think we'll start off with clearing the bells in the next episode, uh, unless we start off with setting the worker up. Probably a better idea. Right, not too bad. Four and a half thousand liters. So we'll go to the same place and collect our final bit of money for today.
Right then, oh, I pushed the cone, <laughs> or the barrier. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. As I said, the link is down below for the map if you're on PC, and uh, so is Oxygen Davis' Facebook page, the link for that. So um, there we go. Till next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.